KFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a pleasant Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got the uh, mixed bag out here. You've got the Dow, which is trading to the downside. It's off 90 points. The other U.S. indices are trading to the upside. That's including the spot volatility index. S&P's up 24 points, half percent. A little over one and uh, two tenths percent for the uh, Nasdaq. That's uh, 192 points. Eight tenths for the Russell, 15 points. Two and seven tenths for the semis. 107 point move there. Trainees are flat. Gold's off eight bucks. Silver's up a nickel. Lights recruit is back three dollars. Natural gas off eleven cents. The thirty-year treasury she's printed out at one twenty-two twenty-one. That's up twenty ticks. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES Mini upper left-hand side. So the ES Mini is attempting to form a new profile. It is above price. That is a bearish message out there. Its price target on a further rally. Then a further rally would be an indication with a close above Friday's high. Friday's high out there is up at the 47.60.25 level. We've gotten up to 47.62.50. That's the first day in the last five or so where we've at least gotten above the prior day's high. So let's see if we close above. If we do, odds favor a further rally. And that further rally, I would target that 47.99 level. Now, a further rally is likely to unfold if the spot volatilix continues to close below the 50-day exponential moving average. It closed below it on Friday. It's trading below it right now, it being 1386. The NQ is also attempting to form a new profile. Now, the interesting thing here, it's up into the sell zone. The sell zone is between 16,583 and 16,749. So during the Trader's Edge show, let's go take a look at those intraday charts, see if there's any kind of signals there. U.S. dollar index struggled to get a of descending trend line resistance, profile resistance out there. It's just a consolidation. It has a profile support level between 100.51 and 101.09, and resistance up at that 102.26 level. Gold traded lower this morning. It has found support at the bottom of its daily profile. You can see it's trading in between a couple of trend lines, both rising and falling trend lines out there. Not much else going on inside of Goldilocks world. Silver is also is attempting to form a new profile. It's got support potentially at 2336 resistance up at the 20. I'm sorry, 2306. I think I said 36, and 2362 would be your resistance level. Lights read crude, testing support, bottom up daily profile 7014. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you're off to start your mind to have a magnificent one, thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.